Hey guys, welcome to the video. So to the, the company for today is Tencent, uh, ticker symbol T-C-E-H-Y. So let's get into the reasons. Uh, reason one, they're the owner of Riot Games and Grinding Gear Games. For those of you who don't know, Riot Games is famous for making a game called League of Legends and also Valorant. These are two really popular and really good games that a lot of my friends and I also know a lot of other people play. And also Grinding Gear Games, which is famous for making Path of Exile. And they're also going to be coming out with Path of Exile 2 as well. Uh, Path of Exile is a game that's really similar to Diablo, uh, Diablo 2. And they also have a huge fan base as well. And also reason number two, winners win and they're beating the spider. So if you look like at a five-year chart of the spider, you can tell that it's clearly beating it. The, over the past five years, the spider has been up by about 100% and Tencent is up about a little over 345%. So in the past, if it's outperforming the stock average, which is what the spider is, I think it's going to outperform it in the future as well. And also number three, good financials. Let's look at the financials really quick. You can see their revenue is increasing over time. So total revenue is over here. So this is their three months ended, and this is their six months ended. The bold is uh is for the year 2020 the one that's not bold over here that's for 2019 so the important thing is though that it increases over time so this is higher than this so it's good this is higher than this so it's good same with their profits for their period and also their gross profit these numbers here are higher than these and these numbers here are higher than these and also for the assets, like their cash and cash equivalents, we also want that to increase over time. So here, this is for 2020, 2019. The one for 2020 is higher than for 2019. Same for their total assets. 2020's total assets is higher than 2019's total assets. And also for their liabilities, uh, we want to compare their current liabilities to uh, at their total liabilities, current liabilities to their current uh, assets. So if we look at this number here, this number, it, sh it should be lower than their current liabilities for 2020. So here, oh no, not, not current liabilities, current assets for 2020. So here, 2020 current assets, 341.33, and here we have 254. 592 so this is lower than this so it's good same for uh, 2019 this is lower than this so it's good and also for total assets to total liabilities this is lower than this so it's good and also this is lower than this so it's good all right that's uh that's it we have the three reasons here. Just a quick recap. Uh, one, they're the owner of uh, Riot Games and Grinding Gear Games, two really good companies. And also, they're beating the spider over the past five years, and they also have really good financials. So that's it for a Tencent. Uh, next, you're going to see a final notes clip, which is what I play at the end of every video. If you've already seen that, feel free to skip it, and then I'll see you guys next time, okay? Bye. These are the final notes. Uh, if you didn't know, my goal is to outperform the spider, which is kind of like the stock average. So uh, my goal is to perform above average stock performance, get a return that's better than the average stock performance. And also in the description, you can find a link to today's uh, stock price and also the spider at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The spreadsheet will contain all of the stocks that I've gotten for the portfolio, along with the price of the spider. That way you can see if I'm beating the stock average or not. And also I'll have a link to any resources mentioned in this video. Uh, sometimes I will have uh, links, extra links, sometimes I won't. It really depends on the video. And also on the weekend, 
I'll be giving you guys five stocks for next week. And on the weekday, I'll be choosing one of those five stocks from one uh, from 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'll be giving uh, you guys three reasons why. And uh, also for the weekday, sometimes I won't be able to release the three reasons why video until like later in the evening, sometimes after the market is closed. So if you want to know what stock I'm going to be choosing for that day, you can check the discussion tab in my on my YouTube channel for the stock. I should have like a little post about what the stock is for that day. And then after that, I'll release the video. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and then I'll get back to you guys when I can on that. Alright, have a good day. Bye.